Hello everyone, Lucy05 and welcome to the Kobo by Sancho Toy Review. And today, sorry, we were looking at the 2010 release by Hasbro of the Iron Man 2 Action Figure Review. And today's Action Figure Review, we're looking at Action Figure number 33 of the comic series Arctic Armor Iron Man. Now, I got this straight from a local toy shop near my area for actually the original price that they put on is 39 ringgit and 90 cents. Now, I got this for about 38 ringgit which is actually not bad I actually saved about 2 ringgit there now let's take a look at the front part of the packaging itself you've got a nicer artwork of the Iron Man there and the logo itself at the bottom part here yeah, it stated its name as the Arctic Armor Iron Man that includes with the 3 armor cards a figure stand included as well and here the snap on repulsor blast now inside the plastic bubble you notice the Arctic version the frozen repulsor blast very nice and here you got the figure itself and behind the figure is the base stand and next to the figure is the three armor cards there now at the back of the packaging you got a nice little small little bio of the arctic armor and a nicer image of the arctic armor iron man including with the snap on repulsor blast here we got the rest of the figures there is number 32 iron man the advanced armor iron man number 34 the silver centurion and number 35, the Iron Monger, which I already made a review of. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back up to remove figure and the rest of the stuff up from packaging. Now, inside the packaging, it comes with the three armor cards. Each card consists of a torso, the pair of legs, the arms and head for you to combine as one singular card to represent that armor itself you can actually swap around with the other iron man 2 armor cards to create your own amalgam weird design of an armor and you can actually slot all three armor cards to the slots here there are actually three slots next we have the base stand itself you notice this base stand there's a peg there for the figure to stand on only one singular peg and at the bottom of the feet of the figure itself there's two holes now you also notice there's a nameplate for the base stand itself and Hasbro is not utilizing that nameplate. I'm not too sure why they designed it in the first place, it's just beyond me. Next we'll take a look at the other accessory. The snap on repulsor blast which is a freeze blast. Very nicely done. And this is actually a different scope. I have next to me uh, a typical what mostly packed in most of the Iron Man 2 packaging with the snap-on repulsor blast and we notice the bottom section there has a different scope yeah, even in the top part as well very nicely done I really like the paint job very nice it looks like it's well frozen and you can attach it to either the left or right hand however you may have some loose problems on the right hand because due to the spread fingers but it's still alright. You can work it around and you will stick there. Now let's take a look at the Arctic Armor Iron Man here. Now the paint job, as I always dread about Iron Man 2 figures, they always have problems with their quality control issues with their paint job. And I'm going to show you later on. First we have the base of the purple and then silver going on. Actually I really like this. This armor design, it looks very nice. and. To me, when I look at this armor design, the colors itself, it doesn't look like your atypical Iron Man suit, not your typical dark blue or black or gold or red or well, silver. This is purple and it looks more villainish, which is not bad. I can always imagine this guy, you know, pretend that this guy is actually, well, this suit of armor is being used by a villain. It's actually not bad. Problem is, is the sloppy paint job I'll show you the tie you notice this sloppy paint job let's see there's another section right, which I saw there's actually quite a number here is another one at the lower elbow there the arc reactor is not properly painted you notice it's not very sharp it's more roundish than sharp on the two edges here and it bleeds to the edges as well not very well done 
I actually saw another figure for this, but the eyes and the mouth paint job is not properly well done, as in they are out of alignment. This one is as best as I could find. Problem is, you... Well, you, I have this. This kind of problems. Also, more purple spots here. More purple spots here. There's a lot of paint issues going on with this. But not too bad. I mean, at least the silver paint job is not smeared onto the torso and most of the smear is on the sides or at the back so at least that's not too bad except for this section here what I'm really disappointed that they didn't bother to paint the repulsor palm at all you notice that's not even a paint job at all just a simple purple and well silver and that's it and you also notice even on the upper bicep is also painted in silver and the upper thigh that is painted silver, face is painted in silver but the neck joint is not painted in silver. I really wish they would put that kind of details in. And if we compare to the back of the packaging itself, it's more in blue rather than purple. But I'm, I'm still digging this color. Now let's take a look at the figure sculpt. The sculpt is actually new. It, technically, if you bought the advanced armor first, then the advanced armor is new. This is a repaint with a different head sculpt with a different shoulder pad and a different lower arm. Yes, a different lower arm. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is similar to the Iron Man advanced armor as shown here. But it's still alright because I didn't actually get the chance to get the advanced armor, so this is still good for me. The sculpt is very nicely done. I really love the amount of details they put into it. Very sleek design, very nicely done, very nice with all this armor paddings going on, very nice. Even at the back there you've got the spine going on, but not as detailed as the previous figures of course. And you still got the side thingy, I forgot what they called. And the shoulder pads is actually removable, not part of the body. Still very nice. Now, let's take a look at the figure's articulation. This will boggle your mind a little bit. The head articulation sh shares the same articulation as the Marvel Universe Extremist Armor Iron Man. Yes, it has a bone jointed hinge joint there. So, as you can see, I can actually tilt the head all the way up like so and you can actually pose this guy to flank mode, which is very nice. Head can actually turn 360 degrees and go a little bit side to side. Very good range of motion and even the head can actually pivot all the way down like so as it's looking downwards. Very nice. I really love the head joint there. The neck joint is very good. Shoulder joint here is alright you can turn 260 degrees and it's a bit limited because due to the shoulder pad here but you can still spread the arms like so provided that well you don't spread too far and then you pop the entire shoulder pads off just like what I did see but luckily enough the shoulder pads is removable so you don't have much of a problem there now the elbow joint however is a bit weird to those who already started collecting Iron Man 2 figures since the beginning, this will be the first for you. It doesn't have a swivel elbow joint. It can only bend this far and bend a little bit back, but it doesn't swivel. This is the first time. There's no upper bicep articulation and there's no swivel elbow. This is it. This is the first time I will have encountered an Iron Man 2 figure with a lacking of a swivel elbow, but they added such a well, a lot of articulation on the neck itself. The wrist joint turned 360 degrees, the torso turned 360 degrees, go forward a little bit, back a little bit, and the hip joint, well, it's all on the ball joint, so you go forward, go to the sides, you can turn all the way around, a swivel tie, of course, but barely able to turn anywhere. And you have a double jointed knee, and an ankle joint that goes downward, upward, even side to side for some reason, and turn 360 degrees. 360 degrees. Overall, I really like the figure. It's just a sloppy paint job really kills the mood. Well, not all the way, but still it looks really nice. I really like the neck joint, but they sacrificed the servo elbow. So it's a give and take there. So I say the figure is very nice, but not perfect. Not that good. Just around on the 7 there, because I really like, love the sculpt there. 
I really love the scope. I really love the neck joint there. I really, really love, well, at least most of the paint job. So, 7 out of 10 for the Arctic Armor Iron Man. And I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05, and I'm signing off.